The term vacuum has been used in several totally different senses. Uh, some engineers use it to mean you just pump out all the air and that's called a vacuum and that's vacuum technology. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about empty space-time. We know today, for example, the Lamb shift in quantum mechanics showed that th this exchange of energy between the vacuum and the charged particles is in fact real and generates real effects. And you can measure it. And he was given the Nobel Prize, Lamb was, for doing that kind of measurement and showing it in the physics literature. So we know it's real. Experimentally, it's detected. The Casimir shift, for example, shows clearly that it's there. And it does generate energetic effects in your actual materials. It turns out that in the modern view, the modern quantum mechanical view, if you apply that knowledge that's been gained there, what you find is that the vacuum is fiercely active. It's a fierce energy flux and going in all directions at all times. The energy density of that, as estimated by various physicists, is extremely high. Uh, for example, in one cubic centimeter, if you could take the raw energy in that cubic centimeter and condense it into mass, divide it by c squared, you would have more observable mass result from that than our largest telescope can see in the observable universe and all the stars and planets today. And so the, the energy that's there is extremely dense and extremely fierce. This drives everything that we call physical reality from the quantum level right on up to the observed level and the observed world that we live in. Everything is energetically driven by the vacuum.